What's going on, y'all? Uh, this is going to be episode two of uh, Forgotten Plugins, uh, which is a series that I'm doing where I go through my plugins and I find something that I either forgot that I purchased or didn't know I had or just haven't used in a very long time. And in this episode, we're going to talk about character from a company called Novel Tech uh, that's sold by uh, Plugin Alliance. So I don't remember purchasing this. I'm pretty sure the way I got it is I bought one of those Plugin Alliance deals where it's like, hey, buy this plugin and get this plugin for free. And I'm pretty sure this is one of the free plugins that came with something else I bought and I just never used it. And uh, went through my list, found it, pulled it out and got to messing with it. And this is a really cool plugin. So it is the name of it is character. I thought just by looking at it or the sound of it, that this was a analog saturation plugin and it's really not doing uh, saturation. It's really doing something that I can't even ex explain, but I'm just going to read you a little bit of the manual of what the manual says that it is, which it says, the character algorithm is based on Novaltech's intelligent adaptive filtering technology. The processing affects both frequency response and dynamic properties of the input material in a highly time-varying sense. Character intelligently identifies and enhances the characteristics and audio material that are pleasing to the human ear. So to break that down, it's taking the best qualities of its source and enhancing that so it's not going to fix a poorly recorded track or vocal. So uh, quickly looking at the controls, it's very uh, simple UI here, input, output, and you also have metering for the input and output as that's playing. Character is going to turn up the character and this meter here shows how much character is being applied to the signal. So the target knob, this was a, I didn't understand this even after reading the manual, I kind of don't understand it, but, uh, from the manual, what the target is, it says the target parameter sets the relative frequency range when the processing is targeted. The target parameter affects relatively depending on the input material. The target scale from 0 to 100 does not represent absolute frequency. It represents the relative position in the full frequency range of the input signal at a current time instant. Yeah, so from what I'm taking from that is that, and just from playing with it from what I understand is that the target is going to affect what uh, part of the frequency is going to be affected by the plugin. And from what I can tell, maybe like zero would be full frequency, where it's maybe 50, looking at maybe more mid frequency and 100 being the high end. It's weird talking frequency and numbers from zero to 100 when frequency is such a number based uh, scale. Uh, last is the mode here. So with the mode, the three different modes here, uh, mode one, uh, they say it's optimized for uh, percussive instruments and vocals. Mode two is optimized for guitars and synths. And mode three is optimized for bass guitar and pads. I would like to you know, maybe hover over that and just get that information. Uh, just so you kind of know as you're using uh, the plugin and not have to revert back to the manual for that. But enough talking about it. Uh, let's take a listen to it. I've got it on a, a track that I recorded with uh, Larissa J. This is vocals and guitar. And since mode uh, two is for guitars, we'll start with that just at the very beginning where it's just acoustic guitar. And yeah, I've already got it looped. So uh, we'll loop this just the beginning first few bars of this. That's acoustic guitar. And uh, we'll turn on the character and see what it does. Uh, we'll start with it bypassed.
So I'm definitely hearing it get a little brighter and it feels like it's maybe uh, pulling out a little bit of the low mids. Uh, let's move on to, let's find a vocal section here. Let's try this. Let me bypass it here first. Remind me once again just to... And actually should have stated this a little earlier. I got no other processing on the vocal. I've got with the Pro EQ, I'm just rolling out some low end. Uh, besides that, we just have some uh, reverb on the track. Uh, but let's uh, get back to the vocal. Remind me once again just who I am because I need to know. Because you say I am loved when I can't feel. You say I am strong, but I think I am weak. So that was without character. I'm going to play it again, and then in the middle of it, I'm going to bring the character in. Remind me once again just who I am because I need to know. Because you say I am loved, but I can't feel say I am strong when I think I am weak remind me once again just who I am because I need to know cause you say I am loved let's focus on just this part here so this is uh, without character you say I am loved when I can't feel a thing with character. Cause you say I am loved when I can't feel a thing. So I'm definitely hearing more high end being applied, and I do prefer it with the character than without it. And I don't know. It's also, it sounds a little muddy and I feel like the character is removing that. It definitely doesn't sound like saturation to me. It's something, I don't know, just totally unique, but I, I do like it and I will have to start uh, using this. I mean, that's, it sounds like it's doing more than just adding high into it. It's definitely more present as well. I feel like the vocal comes forward uh, with it. And I mean, again, I'm only really halfway with both of these settings here it's not something i let's go ahead and like fully crank it and see what that does because you say i am loved when i can't feel a thing you say i am strong when i think i am weak you say i am hell when i'm falling short Yes, with the uh, target at 100, you're definitely getting a lot of high end where it's uh, starting to get a little harsh. But uh, this is really impressive. And it's, I don't, it's it's weird that with you know audio, we know so much of what's going on, whether it's compression, EQ, uh, saturation. But this sounds like none of that. This just really sounds like its own uh, unique thing. I have a link to this in the description if you want to check it out. Again, this is from uh, Plug-In Alliance. Uh, but uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.